Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vase Plays Lovers Drop. Apologies there for the uh, pausing of the screen. Moved my mouse off the area and uh, it minimized all my windows. So, um, I said we're going to take out the Gladiator today. And that is the case. I actually just had a successful run with it off camera. Um, I haven't played it for, you know, 25 episodes, so, um, un unfortunately, it ended with a bug, and you guys can see the bug on the forums, if you doubt me. They are there for all to see, and I value that service of the forums highly because I enjoy, you know, bug fixing and finding bugs and, and all that. Um, I will be doing that for... Stone Hearth when it comes out it was a really cool fl floor and I I really hated to I, I've taken to just generally recording every episode and just babbling incomprehensibly so uh -huh. so there are a couple really crazy episodes probably because I decided to upload it instead of of not so uh, the, the thing I talked about and I, I'm gonna continue to talk about because I think it's important is the tier system and how it will fit into the game and some speculation on that because I think there's a lot of room to discuss M mostly in in the categories of I'm I, I think if we want to create a, a system where every class shines and every class is unique which I don't actually believe I don't think Think that we should have a system like that. I think there should be a middle of the road character, and we have that in the rogue. Really, um, I think that's an important function of a, a game like this. I think you need a class to kind of introduce you to the system, who, who's you know, n no gimmicks, no tricks, except for you know whatever's in the bag. Uh, she's gonna have some like stealth ability, and I, I think that's really cool to kind of introduce a special mechanic Oops, sorry for shouting um I, I think that's really cool for the charge mechanic to introduce that kind of thing but she doesn't need to you know nothing nothing for the rogue needs to be you know, unique nothing needs to make her shine or or you know pop out because if if you're so mundane that you have nothing that sets you apart that's what sets you ap apart and that's what makes you special Every other class has this this gimmick, or you know, has this one little category that they're super good at. But every other category, they just they they're not good. You stand on the pinnacle of seven other classes as being able to do pretty much everything that they can do to a lesser extent. And I would like to see that a jack of all trades, master of none character that is very easy to get into and play and have fun with and call it a day I, I okay obviously this game is not satisfied with uh just screwing around anymore um it's a shame because the the last uh seed was fairly easy um so we have some difficulties in this room this is a, a room that's just difficult for for every character simply because the the spiders can jump over these these chains and obviously we have our our ghost issue um which is horrifying but uh we took care of it i think this is the second floor this is the second floor yes um so i i, I propose a couple you know s skill tree things to baker when i talked with him last um, in the Disco Dodgeball Night, and, but, you know, I, I've mentioned that basically the answer is we can't work on it until we get more stuff, and, again, I'm, you know, more than happy to accept that, and it was just one idea, um, I was happy to be able to field it, because I thought it was a good idea, you know, Rogue should be able to get more pickups, and I think that, you know, that, that is something that I think that the skill system should do for the Rogue. Obviously, with other classes, the skill system should complement them or, or buff them, but for, for the rogue, what, what does she need buffed? She's supposed to be, if, if this holds true, she's the middle ground character, then there's nothing to, to buff. I think, you know, changing variables and introducing things like that would be really cool, you know? Maybe you have she has a, a better find rate on, on items, so 
she allows you to find better better weapons earlier, you know, maybe. Just spitballing it. Um, here. Really, um, really don't like how this is set up. So I'm gonna move this. Alright. There we go. Um, alright! That could have gone a whole lot worse. Oh, I don't know all the weapons that the, the rogue is gonna get. Jeez, ah, really, game? This is absurd. So many spiders. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I'm I'm okay. This just happens every time I play the gladiator. It's so it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, obviously making a joke. Almost uh, hit that with my hammer there. Another thing I think would be really interesting to see would be allowing different proficiencies. Is, is, because obviously we're going to have one or two weapons that we'll be okay with, and then there will be weapons that we're not okay with, and then there will be weapons that we're, we're passingly okay with. I think it would be interesting to allow even just a little bit weapons that we could gain proficiency in over time. Say the gladiator could learn how to use the axe better. Um, thus, thus making those weapons viable throughout the run, not just, you know, I pick this up and it allows for me to have this other style and other vector of attack, because they're all going to have different ranges and reaches and, and what have you. So, I, I think that in and of itself would be really cool. Almost got hit by the um, slime there. Ooh, uh, almost got hit by the slime there again as well. So, I, I think there's a lot of room for really interesting stuff. Obviously, having some kind of increased duration on poisons, because there are bound to be poisons. One of the things that we talked about when we discussed... Oh, God. Keep sending me the same rooms. There we go. Alright. Um, is how... Ba basically, it opened the, the door for status effects. In, in my humble understanding of of the, the discussion. Uh, so, it'll be interesting to see what comes of that. But I think, it, you know, especially for, say, the, the assassin who is going to be this very glass cannony, you know, no shields at all, period, ever, um, character to, to facilitate that you know, what will make her strong? Will, will her weapons have anything like poison? The whips already kind of we dis were discussed were I'm kind of just out of it because I hate the gladiator. Um, and I'm actually using a little bit more concentration than normal. Um, just a lot of really interesting stuff about debuffs and, and all that. So it's a shame that the bard didn't get in. And I hope that this game does well enough to allow for... DLC, not DLC, you know, ex expansions is the appropriate term. Um, DLC has a negative connotation, at least to me it does, because most people are like, oh, I don't want to buy 30,000 DLCs, you know, but an expansion pack, that's different. I don't understand what the difference is, but whatever. Um, but definitely the Bard will be one of them, I hope. Uh, it, it was the office favorite, at the very least. So, I, I imagine if it comes to the point where they can spend time working on expansions for Delver's Drop and make the games they want instead of, you know, folding or what have you. Um, I'd like to see the Mercromancer. I'd like to see the Cleric. Those were other classes that were proposed during the early days of the Kickstarter. This has not been a particularly easy... Ooh. Okay, please, let's let me go. Alright. I'd rather... I'll take the goblin attacks. Jeez. I, this has not been 
particularly easy. Or oh, I hate bats. Um, there we go. Can you tell that I really dislike the gladiator? If I had a damaging shield dash, this room would have been different. Um, way different. Ah, uh, beautiful health potion. Um, so, you know, getting getting back on track on the discussion here, uh, instead of me complaining about how much I dislike this class so much. Um, it, it'll be... I, I can't really say for certain anything about the other classes, because... I've seen literally nothing on them. So it'll be interesting to see what we can do with those classes when they come out, because who knows when that's going to be. Soon, I, I hope. I, I hope that they will kind of be in included in this, you know, grand restructuring. I can understand, you know, getting the weapon system in, in, in place is, is a bigger priority, though, I think. I can see the reasoning to that. Um, the other the issue that I also have with the, the gladiator, this, this this goes to all the other classes, but it, it's more pronounced with the gladiator right now because his attack is so slow. But it's really easy to attack in a different direction like you saw me do with the spider there. Um, just, you know, kill yourselves, please. There we go. So, uh, just... Not a fan. So, what else? But yeah, you know, obviously with the Sorcerer, it's also really hard to say what he could get. I, I imagine we'll be getting things like, you know, you're less slippery, which is, you know, that's cool. I, I like being slippery, but to be honest, as the Sorcerer, I really like being able to... Ooh, that was a quick floor. To kind of be this, like, a, a patchy helicopter, you're just, like, going circling your enemy, much like the bat. The, the the sorcerer and the bat have a lot of similarities in, in the playstyle, at least, that I hold, and obviously I've done really well with the playstyle of, of the the sorcerer. I've done no damage runs, and I, I've had the most <clears throat> time with him. So, I, I'd like to be able to think I can speak as some of an authority, but it, it's hard to, to say for now, because who knows what the sorcerer is going to be in the next update, or the update after that. So, he's, he's more up in the air than any other class. Of all the classes, he's the one that... <clears throat> it's, if we, it's hard to say what is going to become of him, because the wands are apparently overpowered. I don't particularly feel like that. I've ranted on that before. <laughs> I think the, the wands are, are, are powerful, but I think that there are ways we could, you know, dumb it down and make them not so crazy and even then i don't necessarily think they're all that bad right now so um i'm obviously a biased source on this and we are done that was a really quick run so at the very least um the the first floor and the fourth floor were a little difficult just by the rooms that or sorry the second floor and the th fourth floor were difficult by by what they threw at us but um we prevailed and that was fairly painless and swift so um there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Here's to hoping that we get the update soon. As always, thanks for watching.